basically we were just talking about it and everybody had kind of wanted to do something for them but we just didn't know what to do and um, so many people ended up wanting to participate we decided to do a big raffle to kind of raise funds for them and um, yeah so it was Stephanie's suggestion and it, it just snowballed. really did it really snowball, did snowball. From there. and there's tons of local businesses that are participating now love and passion in every single thing she made Every time you went to the truck, she was, no matter how many people were in line, no matter how many tickets she had, if there was a smile on her face, she would take time to say hello and be jovial, and you could just tell that, like, that was her soul in every box she gave. And working with her and working beside her was just, it was always a good time, even if it was insane, even if they ran out of stuff, even if something happened, they were always just happy to be there. Um, it was really refreshing to see someone really love their craft and really pour themselves into their craft the way they did. Um, I don't think I've ever experienced time with Desi that wasn't fun. In those first few months, I feel like, of shutdown during 2020, yeah. when they first kind of started doing more yeah. things, like, I mean, it was, they were such a bright light to look forward to during that. The restaurant community usually does kind of come together and pull out the stops when somebody is in need in this industry and that's always really cool to see but I mean it's just everybody really came out for them and it was really instant I mean within 30 minutes honestly the list <laughs> yeah. grew to like 50 something people that were just like wanting to help which is really cool yeah. it's been really a uh, kind of restorative of my hope for humanity <laughs> a little bit just seeing all of the um, people come together um, to you know help in this situation